Hey, this is Mo Smokes, and today we're going to be doing a flavor overview on Mazaya's 15 most popular flavors. So what we have in front of us right now are Mazaya's 15 most popular flavors. And I have joining me once again, Sajad. I'm me. Or I'm Sajad. He wanted like a cool on video name, but I asked him what he wanted it to be and he had nothing. So I don't have one. It's Sajad. You guys may recognize him as my bodyguard. He <laughs> doesn't really do a good job of being my bodyguard because everywhere we go somewhere, he just wants. Anyways, so we have the, the 15 flavors in front of us and we have them in alphabetical order because you did such a great job at that this time. I, I believe so. I, it was a team effort this time, that's why. That's, I checked his work. It was, it was good. So we have uh, the 15 most popular flavors and in front of us we have blueberry exotica, blueberry with mint, candy drops, iced gum with mint, iced mint, lemon with mint, love, mango twist, orange, orange with lemon and mint, orange with mint, ruby crush, double apple bahraini, double apple masri, and watermelon with mint. So you'll recognize, yes. I, I just wanted to point out that each one of the flavors says molasses at the end. So it's like blueberry exotica molasses. I don't think I have to say the molasses. Ice gum with name. molasses. I, I see what you're saying. It's unique to them. They know, I've never seen anyone else do it. That's true. So it's flavor molasses. Yep. Do you want me to start? Blueberry exotica molasses. No, you don't gotta do that. All right, cool. All right, so we have the flavors in front of us and what we're gonna be doing is talking about each flavor, what it tasted like to us, what it smells like, if applicable. You'll notice that some of these small containers are sealed. That doesn't mean that we didn't try them. It just means that because they're small containers, they're 50 grams, open them, smoke it, smoke it a little bit more. And then I just thought it would be better presentation wise if we had the sealed ones. But yeah, all of these bigger boxes are open. So we'll be able to open the box, open the container, talk about how it smells, then talk about what it tastes like. Oh, I should probably talk about Mazaya, right? Like as a brand? Yeah. Okay. Where are they from? Uh, Jordan. Nice. Yeah. So Mazaya is a Jordanian brand. Uh, it's actually cool because this is the most prominent brand that I see when I go to Egypt. Like everybody smokes Mazaya over there. It's great because they make a lot of like traditional flavors. So we'll talk about the traditional flavors. We'll talk about some of their more modern flavors. We'll talk about why the packaging looks different. And it is a blonde leaf shisha. So it's lower nicotine. Uh, you get the flavor, you get the clouds, all that good stuff. And yeah, anything else you want to say before we jump into the flavors? I like blonde leaf. I know. Uh, I do know you're into blondes. Leafs. Mm. Um, I mean, that's all I got. I, I like blonde leaf, so I was excited to try these. Not that I don't like dark leaf. I like them both. But like with blonde, it's easier. Because say, for example, you're hanging out with a friend. Nope. Does it... All right. So we're just going to go ahead and start now. Yeah. Wait, where was that going? That wasn't going where I thought it was going. You're hanging out with a friend that can't tolerate high nicotine, so you so need a easier. good blonde. It's easier for them to smoke. I get what you're saying. I thought you were going into like blondes versus brunettes. And... No. Okay. No. All right. So the first flavor is blueberry exotica. So do you want to grab that, open it up? Yeah, I'd, I'd be honored. There you go. Ooh. Did you hear the pop on the container? Satisfactory pop. Seal. Say it's fresh. It smells really good. What does it smell like? Um, it smells like a like a almost like candied um, blueberry, like a soda. Like a blueberry soda. I don't know why I sealed that. Up. I don't. <laughs> They're really. I'm a bodyguard for a reason. Yeah, man. I can't unsmell a uh, grape Fanta. Yeah. It it doesn't taste like grape at all, but it smells like grape Fanta to me. All but, right. What did that one taste like to you? Um, this particular one. <laughs> yeah. What did that taste like to you? Um. I think, well, between this one, well, should I dive into the mint one? I'm going to dive into the mint one. The blueberry mint is next. Uh, what we did was we smoked them at the same time. So one of us had blueberry exotica. I think it was me. It was me. And he had blueberry mint. So yeah, go ahead. So when I was comparing the two, this one was, like you said, more like just the soda itself with like no, to me, it didn't really have any more underlying flavors. It was. You didn't get the creaminess in it though? I mean, yeah, but it wasn't really, um, I feel like it was just a part of like the, the structure. So to me, it tasted like blueberry cream. Um, it wasn't like a super potent cream, but it was almost like a, let's make a realistic blueberry taste cream. It's more so like a, a blueberry um, with possibly a little bit of grape, hint of it. Uh, yeah, because the flavor was like super potent. It's, okay. a, it's a very strong flavor. It's okay. good, that's not what I was saying. Go right into the blueberry I was going mint. into blueberry mint. All right, so the next flavor is blueberry with mint molasses. So that's this guy right here. Molasses. Between the two, this one was, uh, I liked this one a little bit more. Okay. So you open a can. 
that's exactly how you open a can. Okay. Uh, don't tell let anybody whatever. tell you otherwise. I, I like the mint aspect You're of not? it. You're not? Oh, see, I'm not bad. Uh, I like the mint of it a lot because it's uh, it's there. It's, uh, what I say, it's super prominent over the blueberry, but it's definitely very noticeable off the rip. Yeah. I actually want to make this as like a general statement. I feel like Mazaya does a really good job of using mint that doesn't overpower what the flavor is. So to me, the blueberry mint tasted like blueberry with mint, like the way I think it's supposed to taste. Like you get that nice spearmint, you get that traditional blueberry flavor, and it's a, it's a solid blueberry mint overall. Next one. Let's talk about candy drops. Candy drops. You missed out on this one. I smoked this one solo. This one, I mean, I can talk about the packaging. Talk about the packaging. Packaging is cool. It what do you like, think it's gonna taste like based on the packaging? Um, Don't open it. Don't break the seal. I, I want it fresh for when I use it. I'm gonna smoke it later. You can have that one. I mean, the packaging looks like, they ever played, what's that board game, Sugarland? Candyland? Candyland. Sugarland? <laughs> <laughs> you ever no, play Sugarland? It's a board game. Hold on. It's Candyland. I no, promise you. I know on. it's real. I promise. There's a board you. game. It's called Candyland. And yes, the packaging looks just like Candyland. I oh, pulled up Sugarland, Texas. Bro, it's. I, I got them. Mind. Yeah, he's taking forever. It All should right. just be me and you. I don't know why we okay, keep bringing so him here. Okay, so can I smell this through the packaging or no? Kind of. Not really. Um, yeah. So I'll let you take this one. You just gave up immediately. I don't. Yeah. Box looks nice. All right, so uh, this flavor is actually called Candy Drops, and Candy Drops to me tasted like, um, remember those gum drops? The ones that get stuck in your teeth? The colored ones that are like the shape of a bell? Like you come out of like a, you put in like 25 cents? Comes no, out not like the round ones. The one, literally they're the shape of a bell, they come in like a bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Like the Brax or whatever. So they taste like that, but with peppermint. So they taste like peppermint gum drops. So I like that's peppermint. What candy Drops taste like to me, so I, I think it's a, good that they call it candy drops. Right, Gotham? Yeah. All right, cool. Here steal, go. steal on the spotlight, right? Yo, here. Gotham's like, yo, you need a co-star. I know how to do this. All right, the next flavor is iced gum with mint. Iced gum with mint and molasses. Okay. I think I closed this one last, too. That's... I know, I'm over it, too. All right, there we go. Oops. You're a good Love, boy. You. Love you. Yeah, that smells really nice. Uh-huh. That smells, uh... That smells really nice. Uh -huh. that smell, uh, what Can is I it? also partake, <laughs> per chance? God, you like this? Smell that. Smells good? Yeah, that's how I felt about it too. My guy. All right, go to your bed real quick so I can do this. I'm wearing all, you can stay there, it's fine. You know <laughs> Give me an attitude. To me, this was really, really good. Like, I really like this flavor. You get cooling, not mint. You get mint too, but you get cooling and mint. So you get like a nice icy gum mint. So for those of you that are familiar with gum mint, gum mint is one of the most popular flavors in the world. This is that, but iced. So I really enjoyed this one. It smells phenomenal and that's iced gum with mint molasses. The next flavor is ice mint. Ice mint. This one like took me back. You're gonna know what I mean, I think as soon as you smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Why do you keep trying to put? I, I don't know. No, that that's uh, like your classic. It's your classic mint. Yeah. It's your classic spearmint. The iced mint is actually it does the same thing as the iced gum mint, where it's cool and it's minty and it's spearmint. So, but there's no gum. There is no gum. Just the gum. other one is the the gum mint. This is just the straight up spearmint. And that's really good. It smells yeah. really fantastic. Yeah. Hey man, you should uh, you should borrow that. I think you would enjoy that. The next flavor is lemon with mint. Oh, you already opened it, okay. Yeah, this smells really good. That smells like a lemon cake. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Mazaya's lemon with mint is my favorite single flavor lemon mint. Like if I want like a really good traditional lemon mint, I go for Mazaya's lemon with mint. No, it smells really awesome. I mean, lemon mint was the first flavor I ever smoked. So I always have a special place in my heart for lemon mint. And I think Messiah does it better than anybody else for a single flavor for blonde. You can't go wrong with it. You can't. The next flavor is love. Love. Hey man, look at it. You gotta say with them. I'm, I'm giving you the love right here. That's very sweet. It smells sweet. I don't know what else it smells like. Love is sweet. Um, yeah, it is. Um, I might be wrong. Uh-huh, probably. Maybe like a little bit of pomegranate. No. I, I got a little bit of pomegranate. That's what passion fruit smells like. Passion fruit. Yeah. They're both, look, they're both the same color. Same letter at the beginning. Same, they both start with P. Yep, the letter at the beginning that I just mentioned. Pushing P's. Um, 
I, I didn't smoke this one. He smoked this, so you told him what it's like. I was waiting to see what you were going to do. I was <laughs> like, are you going to lie? Because you weren't here for that. Love is supposed to be passion fruit with watermelon. And uh, it's supposed to be passion fruit, melon, watermelon. And to me, with mint, to me, it tasted like iced gum mint with passion fruit, which I really liked. I actually preferred that because I'm not a huge fan of watermelon in general. Like I just, I don't like watermelon and shisha typically. So I wasn't looking forward to discovering the watermelon in this flavor, but I just tasted passion fruit with ice gum mint and I really liked it. And it's definitely one I'll be smoking again. The next flavor is mango twist. By far my favorite fruit is mango. Uh-huh, you're gonna, you should take that one. Okay. I have two more, I think. It's the old, I can't, but- I don't know which one, but mango's my favorite is. fruit. So, it is a traditional mango with blueberry and lemon. And I actually really like that flavor. I haven't had too many good mango flavors for shisha, which is a little disappointing. I got high hopes for this one. It's good. Next up is orange. Just orange. Orange molasses. Orange, just orange molasses. Just orange molasses. All right. That was the one that you smoked. That was the one I smoked. Why don't you take this one and after you smell it, tell us what it actually tastes like. Okay. But smell it and tell us what it smells like first. So it smells like, like an orange. Um, oh, we're trying to close it. But like a like the most ripe Florida orange picked off a tree. Okay. Um, it's like I agree with him. It's what you want your orange juice to taste like. But I mean, I like I like that a lot. You can smoke it by itself, easy, without having to mix it with anything. It's very smooth. I mean, honestly, all the orange flavors are really smooth. I mean, it's just an orange. It's just an orange, so you don't mix up your fl flavor. But tell me what you said. It tasted like to you. Like a creamsicle. Like a creamsicle. But light on the vanilla. But light on the vanilla. And we did, so just like we discussed with the blueberry exotica is the underlying cream. Yeah. This one, I, I, uh, you got I, more of the underlying cream. You know, it's a it's creamsicle. It's great. Summertime treat, wintertime treat. See, everybody thinks it's easy to do. It's not. This is a, this is a masterclass right here in how to describe flavors. Bro, I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm just saying. I don't even know I, if I, I can know add to I that. Let me take a stab at it. Oh yeah. Sorry. My, my bad. Let me open it for you. I don't want you to. I just, I, I want to see if I could, if I could do what you did. Yeah. It smells like an orange. Florida, ripe it Florida it orange. It smells like a ripe Florida orange. To me, it tasted like a really good traditional orange because I do want to make the distinction. When I say traditional flavors, you guys know what I mean. Like the, the stuff that everybody grew up on smoking if you've been smoking for a while. And this is that, it's a traditional orange. I do get a little bit of like that vanilla creaminess to it, but it's not super prominent, but it's just enough for me to be able to enjoy a solo traditional orange flavor. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I really liked it. All right, so the next flavor is orange with lemon and mint. So very citrus. I like that we built up to this though. I like that we had lemon with mint. I like that we had orange. Now we have orange with lemon and mint. I'm a huge fan of citrus. Yep, I know you are. Citrus juices. Yep. Citrus uh, shishas. Yep. Um, they're very refreshing. Let me just open it. Yeah, I got you, hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what does orange with lemon and mint smell like? I mean, literally like you cut the three together, made a juice. You keep trying to close it. My, we're well, almost I don't know. done. I forget. We, we're on flavor 10. Is this 10? Yeah. Yeah. Checks out. You smell the orange, you smell the lemon, you smell the mint. It smokes like you combined lemon with mint with the orange flavor. They pre-mixed it for you. They pre-mixed it for you. So if you like orange and lemon and you don't want to stick to just one type of citrus with your mint, orange with lemon and mint. Very considerate guys. Orange is the most prominent flavor. You get the lemon, you get the mint, but orange is the start of the show. But you know, the mint wasn't overpowering either. Cause yeah. some of the regular orange mints are very, the mint gets very overpowering. Well, honestly, I think they did. Kudos to Mazaya. Not a single one of these flavors that had mint with it, had their mint overpower the actual flavor. And that is not easy to do. So kudos to Mazaya. credit where credit is due. The next flavor is orange with mint molasses. So you drop the lemons. You drop the lemons. But when life gives you lemon, you make that. When life takes away I the think lemons. You make lemonade. You got this. Okay. So yeah, they dropped the lemon. You don't smell the lemon again. Not an overpowering mint. Yeah. But I mean, I could smoke. I could smoke this all day. Yo, orange mint like is one of my favorite traditional flavors. This was a super solid orange mint. So you got all of the perks of this orange flavor right here, and then you get the spearmint. So I mean, you can't go wrong. Ruby Crush. So Ruby Crush is actually my favorite flavor from these 15. Like, don't get me wrong, lemon with mint and orange with mint will always have a special place in my heart. They'll always be a couple of my favorite flavors of all time. But Ruby Crush, which again, is a new flavor from Isaiah, is raspberry candy 
with cooling. The cooling wasn't overwhelming. The raspberry candy flavor was like amazingly executed. And I really enjoyed smoking the solo and I kind of want to mix it. So I'll be making a Ruby Crush mix, but- I gotta talk about the packaging. You gotta talk about the packaging, I get it. There is actually fru Yo, the, the so fruitsicles. Everything you described. The raspberries are frozen on the packaging. Raspberries are frozen. There's a bowl of raspberries, fresh, and then there's like a, a creamsicle, popsicle, popsicle? Uh, I would call it like a- What are those called, the fruitsicles? There's a brand called Outshine that makes like just fruit popsicles. Yeah, that's what they look like. So it's probably yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the next flavor is one of two double apple flavors, and this is Bahraini Two Apples Molasses. Uh, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm that that was a flavor that you tried. I did. And then I tried it from you because I was smoking the next flavor. So I'll let you talk about that one first. The Bahraini to apple. Mm -hmm. As, so I'm not honestly a huge fan of apple flavored chisha. Hold on. Quick side note, whenever you hear double apple or two apples, the flavor has nothing to do with apple. Like it's usually like an anise or like a licorice flavor with some kind of like sweetness added to it. Yeah, it tastes like licorice. When he says, I'm not a fan of apple flavors, he's not talking about like stuff that tastes like Honeycrisp apples or like Granny Smith apples. He's talking like about- apple pie. Or like apple pie. Like he's apple talk, pie. He's talking about double apple, which is again, that anise, that licorice. So go ahead. But You're not a fan of For packaging flavors. purposes, by the way, this does look better than having just like licorice on here. Of course. So anyways, I'm not a huge, but I, I'm not a huge fan of um, the two apple, double apple flavor chichas. Uh -huh. This was not, even for me, this was not bad at all. You know, so the reason that he's saying that is because there's not really a lot of anise, if any anise in this flavor. You can tell that it's still supposed to be a double apple flavor, but the anise is not as intense as other double apple flavors. And there's almost like a sweetness to it. Like I felt bad at one point and I was like, hey man, like it's fine, you don't have to smoke it anymore. He's like, oh, I don't mind. Which is saying a lot if you yeah. don't like double apple. No, but no. if you do like double apple and you do like the licorice flavor, this one might not be for you. The next one might be for you, but all right, go ahead. Honestly, I'm not going out of my way to make this, but if it's going, I'll enjoy a few. I'll enjoy I like that one. Know, a few pulls. That's good. It's nice. It's, it's I nice. like it as like an alternate version of double apple. Yeah. So the next one has like a very unique package that looks different than the other packages. And this is two apples, Masri. So for those of you that don't speak Arabic, Masri means Egyptian. So Egyptian double apple. And like I said, the box is, uh, it's very unique. This one actually tastes more like the traditional double apple that like I grew up smoking. The only difference I would say is that it has uh, not as much anise as the traditional double apple. And there's like a, there's a nice like honey-like sweetness to it, which I really like. It's not overpowering, it's not super prominent, but it's definitely there. And you really feel it on the exhale because usually on the exhale on double apple flavors, you feel like a lot of anise or licorice. This, because of that little bit of sweetness, made it a lot smoother for me. I do like the creativity with the packaging. I see what they did there. And it's one of those things where like, if you know, you know, but you have to be a double apple smoker to appreciate it. Did so, you, uh, so you smoked it too. So you want to talk about it? I smoked it, but what do you mean by the packaging? I have to tell you later. Okay. It's an, if you know, you know, kind of thing. Okay. So you don't know. Um, so this being the more traditional double apple, yeah, I was, um, you didn't like it. I like that one more. Yeah. But I also made me question why Bahraini apples taste different than Muscovy apples. The climate is very similar. I promise you it's going to make sense when I tell you why. Okay. There's the water from the Nile, like mm -hmm. different. That, yep. That's okay. what it is. Cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's yeah, very traditional double apple. Um, if it's there, I might smoke it, but uh, that, that's about it. Okay. So you prefer the Bahraini? I prefer the Bahraini, Interesting. for sure. And I prefer it's sweeter. This. It's it's sweeter with a little um, less. I mean, thing. the the Masri preferred the Masri, and I'm not from Bahrain. The though. Pakistani preferred the Bahraini. Look at that. Life is crazy sometimes. <laughs> the next flavor is watermelon mint. So you heard me earlier when I was talking about love. I'm not really crazy about watermelon and shisha. Uh, I'm not really crazy about traditional watermelon. That being said. If you are a fan of traditional watermelon flavors, I think you'll like this one. There is this reoccurring theme in some of the flavors of like this honey, almost like sweetness. It has that. So you get the traditional watermelon flavor, you get the spearmint mint, 
and then you get like almost like a little bit of honey sweetness to it. Again, if you like watermelon flavors, you might like this one. Personally, it's not for me just because I, I don't really like watermelon flavors, but that shouldn't discourage you if that's what you like. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed watermelon flavors. I don't, I, I don't have anything against them. I didn't smoke this one, but I would. It smells fine to me. So let's do this. This is like a new concept that oh. I just thought of right now. What's that? What if you give me your top five? Ooh. I know it's gonna be hard because you didn't smoke all of them, but you trust my judgment. But just even off of scent. And scent, and you trust my judgment. Okay, you missed, all right. Pick the your top five scent. and then I'll pick my top five. All right, so my top five from this batch of 15 Mosiah flavors. Number one for me was Ruby Crush. Number two was Lemon with Mint. Number three was Orange with Mint. Number four was Two Apples Musty. And number five was Love. That's my top five. Those were the five I liked the most from this batch. Okay. All right, so your top five is Orange. Yes. Orange with Lemon and Mint. Orange with Mint. Iced Gum with Mint. And then Mango Twist. The reason I put these two at the end was because I did not try those two. I'm hoping they can maybe move up. The reason I, I see potential for them to move up in the future. The reason I put mango last yeah. is because I really want it to be good. Cause like I said, I do love mangoes, Yeah. but I've never had a mango flavored Tisha. That's just impressed me a lot. Okay. There you have it. That's his top five. We already talked about my top five. Make sure you like, let me know what flavors sound interesting to you. Or if you tried these flavors, let me know what your experiences are. Would I leave off like? the comment, and then subscribe, and... Isn't there a bell? I hear other like guys say, hey, click the bell. Click the bell for notifications? Yeah. Is that a thing? Do people say that? Click the bell for notifications, if that's a thing people say. Hit the bell. Hit the bell for notifications? I don't know, I don't do that stuff. I don't really care, I just talk about Shisha. But they'll get a notification once you post something else. Oh, hit the notification thing. No, it's a bell, it's not a notification thing. Hit the bell thing. I feel like an old man trying to figure out TikTok all over again. <laughs> I do not know what TikTok is. Well, I know what it is, but I just don't know how it works. All right, uh, what was I talking about? Bye? All right. Adios. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you, Sajah, for joining us. Hey, man, it's an honor. Hey, man, I, I appreciate your presence. Your presence is the present. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. And he might be back again. I don't know. I haven't decided. You know, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see me back. Just let him know. Yeah. Or if you don't, the, the, spare my feelings, don't let them know. All right, cool. I do like your hoodie, though. Hey, man, I love my hoodie. It's nice. I feel like it's, it makes a good statement, powerful statement. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I agree with the statement. I, I will uh, I'll give brownie points to watermelon. Uh, watermelon mint. Yeah, I do like the packaging That's on steam. it. It's a good the packaging colors. there. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Oh, we're back. Oh, it wasn't recording.